I'm starting off with the L'Oreal Quick Blue Extra Strength Lightning Powder. I have a mixing bowl with a brush, and I also have volumizer, how you say that shit? 40, all right, volume 40. And I also have a measuring cup so that I can, it's developer, y'all, developer. <laughs> So, I'm going to go ahead and mix this together and get this party started. Now, I have been um, told from other videos to place Vaseline on your edges or on your skin to avoid it getting burned but i didn't do that um that's something i definitely recommend that you do it's not that it burns or anything like that but you should just put something on your skin just to protect it so anyways i'm just going on ahead and i'm just coating my hair with the mixture now one thing I do want to tell you is if you have previously had a like a semi-permanent color you'll see in my last video I put a red semi-permanent color in my hair y'all you gonna see what happened but that's why you are starting to see that it's starting to turn red it's not because that's what normally happens but Make sure you didn't recently put a semi-permanent color in your hair before you bleach it or just wash it like a thousand times before you go ahead and lighten your hair.
So now that it's in there, I went ahead and put a plastic bag over my head because that helps with the lightening process. And I'm just touching up my little edges and I'm gonna leave it on for about 40 minutes. Her face just says it all. <laughs> oh shit, bitch, what the fuck? It did what Why it is my supposed... shit red though? Okay, so like it did what it's supposed to do at the roots, but the tips bit shoe. <laughs> but you look like pink. But honestly, it looks really cool. So hold on. So right here in the back. It needed some more dye at the root and right here, right here too. But for the most part, you look like you belong on fucking on some kind of like 90s punk rock. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair. And I'm starting off with a regular shampoo because I thought it would get the pink out, but absolutely not. It's here to stay. And I just bought a little bottle of the shimmer shampoo and conditioner because I saw some reviews that said that it wasn't very effective. So I just wanted to try it out first to see if it did anything for me. So I'm starting with the shampoo. On the bottle it says do it twice and on the second time you leave it in for about three to five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. After rinsing that out, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the conditioner, the shimmer conditioner. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Um, now for the conditioner, you want to actually leave this on, I think it's about 10 minutes that you leave it on. No, it's five. So you leave this on for about five minutes as well. And um, I do actually see a change in the color. It's not so yellowish orange. Um, so yeah, I would say definitely use this shampoo and conditioner. So now I have rinsed it out, y'all. And I am just still in awe of this pink and blonde that I got going home. So I decided, you know, because I was just going to start wearing a wig, but I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and complete the process. So I went ahead and grabbed my Wella toner in um, the color T28. And the smell of it is very strong. Okay, so you're going to mix it with some developer. And you're pretty much going to want to put more developer than the toner itself. Mix it up and go ahead and apply it to your hair. Now, I will say this. You do not want to get this on your skin, y'all, because it burns. It doesn't burn like if you were to leave a relaxer in too long, but definitely like if you scratched your head like I did a few times. Oh, my gosh, it burns. So just remember you don't, don't have any scratches or anything like that on your scalp. Be very careful when you're applying this to your hair and try your best not to get it on your skin.
you do not need to put a bag on your head um, to help with the toner. Just leave it just like this and we're gonna leave that on for about 20 minutes. <laughs> so it's definitely not anywhere near I said don't, don't scratch your scalp man cause that shit <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely lightened the pink a little bruh I'm about to get this mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. and I gotta wait <sighs> I look like I have fucking leopard spots in my fucking hair so I'm gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and go on this, with this deep conditioner. And um, needless to say, this was a complete fail. And I only say that because the pink is like, seriously killing it for me. If it wasn't in my hair, I would be like so much happier. Like I would be totally in love with this color. But this is really watery. Since, you know, It's pink. I mean, I wouldn't even mind that in some places it's black. It's just the fact that it's fucking pink in my hair. And that's what's killing it for me. But whatever. So as you can see, honey, when I put them finger ways in, baby, and I put them lashes on, and did them eyebrows with some lip gloss and a little foundation, baby. <laughs> you couldn't tell me nothing. Nothing.